Good morning YouTube, welcome to another video. Today we have got plenty more work on, so this is where we are and this is what we are doing first. So this is the job in hand today. We're gonna to be working through this flower bed, pruning back some of these roses. There are a few that look like they're still in flower, but they're slowly starting to wilter out now. Now we did that flower bed the other week and the one over the other side of the van, so that's pretty cool. But today we're gonna to be working on this bed here, tidying up these roses hedge here just gonna face off the side of that do the top of that as well just the straggly bits really just to smart it up and then we've got a rose on here so we're just gonna give that a little bit of a uh, prune as well painstaking part yeah <laughs> but it always looks better if you get to do it properly you know yeah it's one of them i think with more time because let's say we're only here for two hours guys you're very limited to what you can get done in two hours yeah. but we will certainly do our best Right guys, that's our first two hours done. Here's the after. So we've completely weeded this flower bed. There's a little bit of detailing still to do. We had a two hour window, so we've done as best as we can. We've cut the uh, hedge sides and top, pruned these roses down here, and I say cleared the worst of the muck and rubbish out the flower beds. There's a few, I say, bits of detailing to do in the front, but we've cleared the bulk out of here, so it's looking much, much better. And we've also exposed the path, which we didn't know was there, and cleared, say, the worst of the weeds out the front, but it's, it's better than it was. Not bad for two hours work. Job number two now, just working our way through this little flower bed. There's plenty of weeds in here. I've dug the weeds out of this section here. I'm just gonna fluff up the soil in a bit. Um, but what I'm doing here is we've got these fruit trees, a uh, fig I think it is actually. Um, so I'm just clipping away some of the overhang bits from around the side. And then I may even try and take a little bit off the top and round that off as well. So tidying this up, pruning it back, giving us a bit of a haircut, gonna weed through here, clear all the leaves, apple, fruit, weeds, just everything, and then fluff up the soil and make it look loads, loads better.
Guys, that is this bed done now. Leon's just blowing over there. So we've actually, believe it or not, clipped some of these trees. There was a fig there, so we've sorted him out. This is a bit of a, it's a bit like a crab apple tree, but it's not uh, very sort of similar. But anyway, uh, shrubs will be nicely shaped up. Left the geraniums for now, uh, but they will get cut back at some point. Weeded, fluffed up the soil. Uh, it looks really good. Just looks much better. Taking all the weeds out around the gravel as well. So that's pretty awesome. So Leon's just been leaf blowing everywhere over there. Bless him. And I think next plan of action is to just weed these beds and tidy these up. Maybe prune these roses a little bit. This bed, weeded, fluffed it up, tidied it up. Given the roses a little clip. Nothing too heavy this time of year, which is obviously sensible because of the frosts. So yeah, nice sensible little cut. Done some weeding in here, tidied this bed. And as well as that, we've tidied this flower bed as well, weeded through there, fluffed up the soil, cut down loads of dead bits and pieces. So yeah, between the three beds and that one over there, everything is looking cushy. Busy day done. Wrapping up the video in the van today with my Christmas baubles and my tinsel. I'm feeling very festive again. I still haven't got around to putting the uh, Christmas lights up in here. I better get a move on, otherwise it'll be the new year before we know it and I would have missed out on the opportunity to put my lights up in here. <laughs> so yeah, two jobs today. Crazy, complete contrast from the other day. See, the other day though, the nine jobs that we smashed out, that was like, as I say, get in, get out, small jobs, it was easy. You can go from one to the other and they're all really close by. Whereas today, the two jobs were slightly further afield. And, you know, good stint at the first one, really did well there. And then at the second one, again, detailing flower beds, cutting back, shaping things up. It made a real difference. Like the gardens look really spot on and the customers are so, so happy with the work and the standards that we deliver. So, yeah, no, I'm I'm really happy with those jobs today and it's been good. It's been really busy. We've got another couple of busy days. We've got Thursday, tomorrow we've got a busy day and Friday we've got a busy day as well. But I thought I'd get this video done and finished now. So if you're seeing this on Friday, I did do two days <laughs> after filming this. Wrapping up this little video here. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It'd be awesome to have you guys tag along. As always, we get so many amazing people in the comment section and I always take the time to reply to every single person. You know, I think that's really important and I say I, I can't stress that enough. I say it all the time. Don't be a lazy YouTuber. Don't be one of these people that just goes, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks for watching. You know, make the time for your subscribers for god's sake it doesn't take much effort just to spend a couple of hours of an evening i know sometimes my missus would be like watching tv and that and i'll be just replying to people for hours but you know what it's about giving back to you guys you know you take the time to watch the videos and drop a comment it's only right that we make the time and give back to the community as well and I don't know why more people don't do it. I know, I can understand, like, if you've got, like, 20,000 subscribers, for example, and you get, like, 300 comments, then you probably won't have time to reply to everyone. But I genuinely will make as much time as possible. Even if I don't reply to them all on the same day, I'll do some one day, some the next day. But I will always reply. And I think, providing I can do that, I'm keeping myself kind of... Yeah, I'm sticking to my roots, basically. I'm sticking to my principles and what I believe is the right thing to do. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you've got any comments, get them below. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Stay positive, stay upbeat, keep smiling, be happy. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace out.